Let's move on now to another story. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, has vowed to capture notorious terrorist leader Bello Turgi soon. Speaking in Abuja on Tuesday, General Musa declared that Turgi's capture is imminent. He addressed reports of Turgi imposing levies on communities, assuring that the military, in coordination with other security agencies and state authorities, is working to protect citizens. General Musa urged community cooperation, emphasizing that public support is crucial to defeat the terrorists. He stressed that informants within the communities hinder military operations and warned against aiding the terrorists. He reassured Nigerians that the armed forces remain committed to restoring peace and normalcy across the country. Well, to discuss this uh, development, we are joined by Inko Tarek Palibo, a security expert. Thank you so much for being here once again. Um, given the ongoing operations against um, the notorious Belo Togi, how effective are the current strategies being employed by the military? Um, do you think there are any specific tactics or approach that uh, could be used to strengthen or modify uh, the chances of his capture? Well, for now, um, the military, they've, they've just made their commitment known to the public that um, there was surely arrest Bello. You know, their strategy has not been made public. Of course, we don't expect them to publicize their strategy. And for me as the person, I'm not even expecting them to come and tell Nigerians that they will soon um, arrest Bello. What Nigerians want is result. It's not an explanation. We've, we, we've gone past the time for explanation and reassurance. We want the arrest of these terrorists in fact, as soon as possible. The mere fact that he is physically present in certain communities, imposing levies, collecting levies, and then uh, moving about and still perpetrating the, the crime of uh, kidnapping. I mean, it's it's absurd for us to, to, to see that happen. And then uh, yet the Nigerian army keeps reassuring us that he will soon be arrested. They should go and arrest him. Intelligence playing in the pursuit of Turkey. Now, are there any intelligence gaps that need to be addressed? Uh, just two days ago, um, the NCC uh, came out with a statement that may have excited many, uh, making it clear that very soon they're going to implement the tracking uh, ability for uh, on mobile devices. And we've seen that some of these Sicilians, or better still, some of these bandits, usually initiate phone calls. Uh, do you think that this would also be a good way in terms of using technology to capture these uh, uh, bandits as well? Well, under normal circumstance, the announcement made by the NCC should, should be received with joy because um, tracking of devices and uh, phones and uh, numbers, uh, they are means of... Um, fighting crime as well. But you will agree with me that in the past, we've had um, instances where phones could be tried. Right now, even before NCC made that um, announcement or uh, made the announcement two days ago, the Nigerian police force, they have what it takes to track phone numbers. The question is, why haven't they been tracking the phone numbers of the kidnappers and the bandits? Why haven't we seen a breakthrough in that area through the use of technology. So the availability of technology is one. The utilization of technology is another. If the security agencies will utilize the uh, breakthrough announced by the NCC to track and apprehend uh, criminals and terrorists, fine, it will, it, will, it will solve the problem. It's part of the ways that the problem could be solved. All right, there's the, the cases of um, informants who are actually uh, within the same community. And uh, how essential is community cooperation in the fight against uh, Turkey, for instance, and other terrorist group? Looking at the fact that you may also have informants who live even amongst uh, the people. Yes, on both sides, we have informants. On the side of uh, Turkey, there are informants. On the side of the government, there are informants. So it now depends on the effort of the government to, um, to circumvent the activities of the informants to the terrorists. So if you want to arrest a terrorist, there are so many things you do behind the scene. You know, these things happen in other countries, 
that today we are celebrating the remembrance of the 9-11 uh, um, in the United States. If you go back to history, you will find out that the United States took it upon themselves to, um, to get rid of Bin Laden. And they knew where he was, and it took them, after knowing where he was, it took them months of preparation so that that operation will be precise in the execution. So it's, it's, it's the same thing. If we, are, we know where Toji is, you just need a little more preparation and professionalism to be able to, um, to get him arrested or killed, and you know, it, as the case may be. So that he has informant is not enough to keep him um, aloof. Thank you so much, security expert Inko Tariak Palibo, for speaking with us this morning. Thank you for having me.